Uh, so we're going to be starting here on Battlefield. Uh, take a quick look at uh, the results here from uh, from Konkydorf. Uh, we are going to be seeing Ganon already quite a bit of the match played out here. Um, but yeah, you're already starting to see that um, Konkydorf starting kind of getting controlled here in the neutral. Mega Man just has so many tools, whether it be the Ass Smash, Pellets, anything really. <laughs> it's yeah, just it's so a, rough for Ganon to get thing. around. Like, Ganon has such a hard time dealing with that, but it's similar to what I said before with the rule of 80 uh, with DVD. You have to understand that you're going to get consistently damaged, but the big thing is the ledge trap game and the offstage gameplay. You have to play around the uh, just the easy ledge traps that Mega Man can go for, uh, and that was already a quick one right there with the ledge snap in the back there. What's the mix-up here? Looking for the cross-up, not going to get it, and Up Smash also just going to miss. Yeah, um, and it's going to be, honestly, Konkydor's advantage has to be pretty much perfect if he wants to win this, just because of how oppressive the neutral is here. Going to find that, uh, going to find the wizard's foot in neutral, um, able to take that stock there, but still, um, it's not going to be easy to, to really exert any type of dominance in the neutral. Forget it in general, but especially against a zoner like Mega Man, where you talk about zoning, but also just their spacing tools. You can kind of just play that mid-range so well. Yeah, one of the things that Ganon at least has going for them in general across all matchups is all you need to do is hit three times and they're at kill percent. It's going to be hard to get in, but it's going to be on Minty's defense. It's going to be so important. Not only has Konkydorf been able to find a consistent amount of these uh, uh, chokes, but a lot of these air-to-air -air neutral airs as well. And if you can just get a couple of those, then you can find yourself some early KOs. And good job as well avoiding a lot of these edge traps. But when you're forced into a far spot like that, yeah, it's not too not too easy to get away from that setup there and let alone get to ledge when you get knocked that far away. Yeah, definitely not. Um gonna go for that Doria real quick. Just try to find the ass match to get something started, but Minty's just throwing out all these projectiles. It's an absolute barrage right now. Needs to be careful off stage. Um, that's the thing, Mega Man's so impressive off stage against most characters, let alone Ganondorf, who has one of the worst recoveries in the game. Yeah, exactly. You see, but the, you know, credit to credit to, uh, Kangidorf has been able to consistently up be around those down airs and reading the tech away too, looking for another, trying to look for the cancel which uh, off of the stage, but good job from Minty not jumping in too early because that forwarder would have gotten rid of that stock. <laughs> Oh, getting that air dodge out, and you know, even if he's not finding these kills right now, Minty, this data against Ganon's definitely gonna help. Uh, we'll see what the down- not looking for the down air there, he's gone for a couple of these Trump bears, and I think that Konkydorf is starting to really catch on to that, um, mm -hmm. that habit he has with punishes. Yeah, holding down that time, not going upwards to get hit, and unfortunately- oh, never mind, still able to get back, but gets- the cross up with the out smash. Uh, crazy thing is, this is borderline even. Even though it's a 0% to 114, you get hit a few times or get uh, spiked early by uh, Ganondorf at any point and you could just die. So, Misty's got to play very careful once again. Reading, going for the early up B. All of a sudden, big damage looking for the air dodge in to, to get the forward <laughs> smash, but Minty. Air dodge is away just far enough. Excuse me, air in just far enough and avoids that mm -hmm. getting the <laughs> getting the sure you get the close that out. What a ridiculous yeah. game number one! And we're <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a game number one. <laughs> it was a game number one by all definitions. <laughs> um, I think I think it was pretty much what we expected to see, right? You know, you started to see Ganondorf. Once once Konkidor started to get those openings, the advantage came out strong, you know, mm -hmm. 60, 70 percent. But getting those openings against Mega Man is so difficult. I don't think you can undersell how hard it is to get around Leaf Shield, Pellet. But then you're also starting to mix in a little bit of Saw Blade. We didn't see a lot of the uh, the Crash Bomb there. But kind of just those three projectiles alone that I was mentioning, trying mm -hmm. to get around them was so difficult. And then when he tried to kind of escape off stage for a second... Minty was able to find these Trump bears to be able to either take the stocks or put them in an off position to lose a stock. Yeah, um, I think we are going to be seeing reason why... two bears. No, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think a big reason why uh, we didn't see so much Crash Bomber is because mm. the, not only were pellets getting punished by it, but Crash Bomber got p uh, punished twice by down B. Uh, from Conqueror, gotcha, Conqueror gotcha. kind of recognized where those were. So it's like, okay, there's no mm -hmm. hitbox here. That's a KO position for me. So Minty kind of backing off on that and using the saw blade mm -hmm. more 
uh, because Ganon doesn't have the best out of shield options outside of like, you know, you go for a short hop Nair or you go for a command grab or dash attack. That's pretty much what they're going to go for. But here mm -hmm. onto a tri plat based stage once again uh, with shorter blast zones definitely can work in the favor of Konkidorf as long as he's able to avoid some of these ledge traps that are from Mega Man looking for the early Nair. I like the idea of the commitment. Uh, just forcing Minty in a bad spot, already at 63%. What's the ledge trap here? Is he able to close it out? No, the Rising Leaf Shield able to get, finally get out of that situation. Yeah, that was, honestly, I think that was kind of a dangerous thing for Minty to go for there. A, uh, <laughs> a forward tilt or a uh, F smash or anything like that would have either killed or put him in an awful position. Um, yeah, I do think this is right a... There too. Yeah, I think this stage is kind of a double-edged sword. You know, Ganon's going to be able to find these spikes a little bit easier, but we were talking about those uh, those Crash Bomber setups you can get with walled stages. Um, so it needs to be careful here. Not going to punish the recovery there from Ganon. Um, Honestly, I'm a huge fan of Kakidor's ability to avoid these recoveries. That not only holding on to their jump, but recognizing that Minty was going to go off stage and then the jump off the platform if you hold shield or try to move a little bit too early. Good call from Kakidor. Uh, a little bit risky in most situations, but that off smash good to get Kaki to first lead. Yeah, off smash is so good at controlling platforms in general. Um, just getting hit by a lot of these saw blades right now. Uh, we'll see if um, Minty Flesh is able to find a real opening. Gets the back here. What's the edge guard attempt here? Oh, Kongendorf actually goes high and tries to fade back with a down air. Not gonna find anything, but still not losing his stock quite yet. Yeah, I like the stall down air before too. Capitalizing into dash attack. What's the option here? We saw before Kongendorf backing off, not trying to get hit by possibly a rising leaf shield again. And 171 still staying alive. Gotta be careful with that command grab, but. Once again, that uh, the ledge trump we saw earlier, like in the first game, gonna close it out that back here. Yeah, Minty really likes that trump bear uh, setup. I don't know if it's again a specific thing or that's just something they like to go for in general, <laughs> but oh, threading the needle on that one right there nearly lost their life, but gonna be able to try to extend this edge guard scenario. Going for so many edge guards, and the only ones that are really successful is when you get a ledge trump, so not even really an edge guard. But, oh, there we go. The forward air, though, got not only going straight to the left, trying to fade back with a little bit of miscue DI, but even so, that possibly might have killed. So, once again, Konkidor, 52% up in full stock. It forces Minty to have to go in. That's where Mega Man doesn't want to be in this matchup. You don't want to have to approach. You want to be able to play from range and annoy the Ganondorf forces going in and possibly taking huge damage. Yeah, just really needs to try to control this. You know, the way Yoshi's works is, and Triplast in general, you're looking oh. at three kind of zones of the stage, but Kakidorf does not care about your zones. <laughs> just trying to break it at any point. Has so much momentum here, it's gonna need something really big from uh, from Minty. It's gonna be difficult against a character like Ganondorf. We'll see what they can find. I like the after the off stage. There. I also like the uh, idea of going off stage really quick just with leaf shields because if they jump early, Konkidorf just falls to the bottom and the weirdest hitbox in the world catching the forward, <laughs> air, the forward air on the other side when <laughs> Minty was behind but putting the shot in the way, uh, or excuse me, the grab attempt in the way. Uh, and that's going to be game two. Uh, not so, not too often where you see Ganondorf taking a game off of Mega Man, so that's just a testament in itself yeah. to the skill from Konkidorf. Yeah, we are going to be going to a uh, a game three in our last set of the block. So definitely, definitely, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> one. Uh, we see those two quick bands, Kalos, FD, no surprises there. Oh, yeah, uh, no, 100%. Not. You do not go anywhere <laughs> near there. <laughs> oh, all right. We're going to be seeing Town. Um, So this is kind of, obviously, you have so much extra room to work with if you're Mega Man. But also, if you're Konkidorf, you're just going to kill you. If you get an F-Smash at 50, Mega Man is just dead. Like, maybe even 40, mm -hmm. Mega Man is just dead. Yeah, so, I mean, um, even before that air dodge that we saw, that air dodge trap set up, uh, that would have mm -hmm. KO'd uh, w with that forward smash. And uh, I like this switch oh, yeah. to, to um, Town and City because, you, you know, you got the two flat stages removed. You don't go to PS2 because mm -hmm. yeah, Ganondorf does half decent on PS2. He has plenty of room to reset uh, when he's getting mm -hmm. pressured. So you have a potential FD layout midway through the game. And you also have an ability to get some jab lock setups on that center platform. So I think this is a good pick for Minty. But this is uh, quite the game to close out our block for tonight. We have a game <laughs> three set of a Mega Man versus Ganondorf. We have Minty versus <laughs> Konkidorf. Uh, it, it really kind of just livening things up. I, I am enjoying this set so oh, far. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely.
I'm really interested to see how Minty's able to control the um w- the platform layouts because you know part of town and city is obviously the platform layouts ever changing. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be really crucial to see how they're able to utilize that center platform when it's there. One, Just trying to control go! the area is going to be so crucial. Um, and I think they need to play, I think they're playing a little bit reactive right now, which sometimes is good against Ganondorf, but I think we, it's been proven that Conkydorf has what it takes in neutral. So I, I'd like to see a little bit more deliberate decisions coming out from Minty, rather than playing this kind of reactive game, hoping that you can just, you know, play patient against Ganon. Yeah, it, it's tough because, like, you, you, you're pretty much playing to never let Ganon win an interaction because we've seen every time that Minty's gone to kill percent, it's been pretty much off of one down throw dash attack or a down, like, down throw setup that has just led to a near 50, 60, 70 percent. And that makes you have to play scared. So you see a much more defensive play style here out of Minty. Uh, but the commitment to the second jump, forcing a ledge trap and just avoiding that forward air that time. Not going to hit when it was actually in position. <laughs> compared to in the last game oh yeah a uh foreigner doesn't feel like anyone's supposed to but when it's not supposed to that's the time for day <laughs> gotta get the up smash oh yeah just uh, just not enough but another one of those anti-air up smashes will take the stock out and you see Conky not trying to move in too early because if you get caught at the ledge like that it's just gonna be a uh, potential free ko for minty Minty doing a half decent job at the ledge trying to avoid the setups, but the forward air trade. You're in center stage. That works for you every time. And now you're in a scary spot. When Conky Dorf is able to go for trades, by comparison to having to play, well, there is the consistent KO, that ledge trap to back air once again. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, the bread and butter kill option coming out there from uh, Minty. Using it again and again to find the stock. Um, We'll see if they can work their way into neutral here. Able to get past ledge, but... Not gonna find too much. Getting that nice little back air. Um, just kind of trying to whittle Gandorf down, but you know, Kakudor's response is, "Let me just up smash real quick." Honestly, I like it too because in that position, what, what's Minty most likely going for? You're probably going for a short hop nair, or excuse me, a short hop pellet. So it's like, okay, um, I win this trade with an up smash. So let me just put it out there. Let me anti air you and force you to stay grounded. And those have been setting up those command grabs so well. Very even here on stock number two. Uh, it is so imperative that Minty gets a hold of a stock lead right now because you really can't afford to let Konkidorf be able to swing kind of freely in these situations, just barely missing the dash attack and looking for probably a spot dodge right there with the up smash. We're going to get grabbed instead. Yeah, you know, if you're Minty, you're really looking to get yourself into an all-stage scenario and go for the Trump Bear. It's worked time and time again. That's what you're really relying on. Going for a Shoryu is a little risky, and you're also... Uh, okay, up smash. Gonna get up smash with the unsafe punish, and... Yeah. Dude, there it is again, man. Like, uh, you putting pressure on up against the ledge, and good job retreating under the stage, because right there, most of the time, you're gonna be looking for that early jump. You see a Conky Dorf, uh, Dorf looking for the command grab, air dodge away. Scoops him a little bit with that up smash on the, uh, the outer parts of the hitbox. Gonna get that back air. Okay, still in a good position. We are here in last stock, last oh, game. Why? <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> why? I got another. Why? Why? Why you do this? Why you? So, um, unfortunately for Minty, you know, Minty was. I was just about to comment on the great job. <laughs> from Minty able to close out that last stock prior, and then Minty decided J- that they J- were just J- done J- with the uh, JB2 uh, <laughs> some. I'm about to play misery business in the background, man. Like I, oh, <laughs> I'm boy. sorry. So unfortunately for Minty, um, that's uh, that's as unfortunate as you get. Uh, it, but Conkydorf, I mean, hey, the the age old saying, we take those. Gonna be moving forward in bracket yeah. on the winner's side. Yeah, uh, in a that clean victory over Minty. JV2 coming out for Conkydorf. <laughs> Uh, unfortunate sd there for minty definitely gonna be seeing that kicking themselves a little bit overall nice yeah. run through this bracket uh we are gonna be switching over to the casters here uh any second now uh yeah but so. be, you know d- just one more rundown for everything you know uh you know obviously mm-hmm. that one hurts but minty definitely yeah definitely mm-hmm. got to be playing again in the future we're gonna be going over that right now with the red bull re- uh replay uh the way that conky mm-hmm. was able to just adjust around 